Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, it has been a long time since I've uploaded a lot, but today we're finally uploading. So that's pretty nice. Um, some of you have been asking if I can make a tutorial on how to make a server. So first, so my server doesn't sh shut off, I will log on to it. Um, tutorial tqi.minehut.gg I'll just log on to it, you guys probably don't see this because this is um okay there so uh, now that we have this I will show you guys so if you host on minehut you would just simply go to add-ons and install the plugins but if you do not host on um, minehut you will need to get these plugins these are the most important plugins you would need to set up a easy um, box server. Because today we're going to show how to make a box server. So, uh, also, you would really want to make the here, this one, to zero. This has to be zero. If not, it will crash with world god. Just so you guys know. So, we're going to simply go into the Minecraft that we have right here. And also, a lot of you usually have the right hand on. Flash. Okay, wait, we got off ourselves first. I'm going to go in the console. This is something everyone should probably know how to do. You just go in the console and do slash off and your name. So now, I can fly. Uh, okay, so what you would want to do uh, when you're making the server, slash whitelist on and slash whitelist add and your Minecraft name. So, to check that you have all the plugins, you do slash pl or slash plugins. But I think this only might work on Minehut, but you can still install plugins for that too. I'm not going to go further into that. So let's get on to this box server. So to start off, slash slash wand. Everyone, would, oh, I forgot to say, you would also need a plugin called Fast Async World Edit. This is a plugin you really need. Or you could also need just World Edit, this one. But so slash F1, that's the essential the essentials plugin so do and also the faster sync also can do that so let's make the box so we mark that so what do you want to do slash slash wand you'll get this axe and you click this block and you go to the other block of the floor right click that slash slash set and then bedrock then you would get a platform with one a bedrock platform right here if it if it doubles then r click the block on the down there and the one on the over here and then remove one layer okay so you would want to this is pretty fast i really know so you would want to click that and you would want to click the block you will make over here then slash slash set grass underscore block then we have a bedrock under and grass block right there. Next thing you would want to do is click that block right there. You would build just two block out there so you can have so you can click that. And then you would go right here and then slash up 20 20 20 20 20 all the way up to here. You could also do slash up just a thousand but then it'll lag a little bit. So what I selected here was first position. Now I select the second, slash slash walls, and then bedrock. Then you would see I get some easy walls. I make a block there, click that all the way down here. And click that, slash slash, slash slash walls, oak underscore log. This is just a simple setup for the box server. So this could be the box. It's decent. It's decent for a box. Then we 
right about here. Like that, slash slash set barrier. So we will get a barrier wall, barrier level at the top. Then also, slash game rule, do day light cycle falls. The sun will always be there from now off. Slash game rule, do weather cycle falls. So now it will always never rain and always the sun will be there. So next thing we're gonna do is to go here and we're gonna mark up the map so we're gonna make this block and this block and then slash region define map this is really important that you learn slash region define map also you don't have to type region you can just do slash rg that I'm probably gonna be doing. And you can remove these blocks. And then you're gonna make so people can build it here, of course. Slash RG flag map. And then you're gonna do block break. Then allow. Because this is inside the map. Yeah, and I'm gonna fix the spawn protection later. Block place allow. Wait, no, it's not spawn protection. Flag is not required for protection. Yeah, okay. And then we're gonna do vehicle place deny. This you don't have to do at the map. You can, because it is a region over the entire Minecraft map, you can just do this as the name, global. And then vehicle destroy and then deny. So no one can place any boats, so they can't escape the box, of course. You would, um, so, now you've got the box, but, oh no, people can break the walls. Let's take a fix on that. So you mark this block, go all the way over here. Wait, I forgot, I gotta mark, yeah, this block, this, th this one in the corner here, and you go all the way over here. Then you go all the way down and mark up this block because the wall is too is too thick. Then slash RG define wall. You can name it whatever you want. Just I do wall because then it's easy to remember. And then also to see that you're marked up right, when you've marked up these, you will see that uh, one of these Oh, wait a second. Second, and then... That second, and then first. Yeah. So to see that you've marked up right, you would want to see that th on these coordinates, 238, 237. It's one between, and it can, o it can always be on these two. Also, slash RG, define wall two so when you've defined all the walls that i'm real quick gonna just do wall three and then i also see that that was wrong so i'm gonna do there wall Wait, I've already defined that. So it was a uh, wall, wall two, three. Wait, actually, slash RG define wall four. There, now I've defined all the walls, so nobody can break it. You, you don't have to do any settings with them. Nobody can break the walls. Slash through. So, let's go a little bit up here. To, for example. Okay, so what you could do is just simply just make a little bit of an entrance right about here or something on so, somewhere on the walls you make an entrance you just fill it up break it out so when this is broken out you can make a spawn i don't care how you build it it's the simplest thing to do is to just make it a, a box right now so this is going to look a little bit cool i'm just going to do like this 
This is just oak wood. If you guys are wondering. And then you just line up this. Uh, and also, if somebody actually managed to, to place a boat and get into it, then I have bedrock walls on the outside. So it will 90% not be able to get out of the box. But also, it is things you can do for that too. With slash rg flag underscore underscore global underscore underscore pass through and then deny. But then you'll have to make a lot of regions and a lot of settings. That's only if you know how to do it. Then what I usually like to use to floor is just dark oak. Because this is the simplest thing. So let's say I want to have like... Like this. And then right about there. Slash slash set. Dark oak planks. So we got a... Let's see if we can line it up a little bit. Three, five. Three, five. So this one got to be gone. Set here. There we go. So then we could uh, simply just fill up these. There we go. And we could just also use these on the walls here. So, there, and we go like here, slash up 15. There, slash, slash walls, oak, log. Then you gotta just break up this. And when this is broken out, I change this so these just look a little bit better. So, um, slash slash wand, slash top. I'll show you guys how to make a region for uh, the easiest thing here. Wait, oh, yeah. I forgot to put barriers on the top here. Boom, 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 slash slash, slash, slash set barrier slash top there we go then you can just mark out the uh, the spawning box here and then slash rg define spawn i don't think you got to do any settings with that and then what i usually like to do is just like this and then slash rg flag underscore underscore glo global underscore underscore block break deny and block place the eye so that that would just be a normal thing so uh here we could just make quartz i don't care how this looks or i you can make this one however you want just there's a shopkeeper here you got a shopkeeper let's say this is food so you have like let's say you have uh, 16 emeralds though for steak for a stack of steak so then you put in the emeralds here and the steak here then you can and let's say you want to add like okay yeah this is kind of cheap so we got to have 16 diamonds too there we go 16 emeralds 16 diamonds then you got 64 steak for that so that's just a simple thing you can change on most of the shopkeepers if they want to be a baby or not you can change name, villager profession, outfit, d delete it, most you can want, like you can just fill it up like this. And you can make custom items, everything, you can put uh, everything you want in there. Just be creative with this. So let's say you want to make a mine though. Slash slash wand. So let's say you want to have a wood mine here. You mark it up, you select the two spots, slash I set oak log. So it's going to be the wood mine, slash MRL create wood, slash MRL set wood oak log 100%. So then uh, it would set the wood to oak log. 
So if I now just like simply just break a lot of this in the mine, and then I do slash MRL slash MRL resets. Would you could also pause the video and spoil back and do whatever you want if it goes too fast. And you can do slash MRL flag would reset delay every two minutes. Let's say we want to do that. And then slash MRL flag would, and then for example, silent, so it doesn't come in chat, like would has been reset. You can also have reset percent. Let's say you want to have a hundred percent. So when it's a hundred percent, when it's like, or let's say like 20, when it's like, let's say it's going to be when it's 20 percent blocks left then it resets auto automatically so slash slash item edit enchant efficiency a hundred thousand oh wait slash deoc i'm just gonna uh, there so slash deoctique so when i've broken like yeah, so slash uh, optically, I just gave myself permission to op and de-op myself. But when you've broken enough, then I would assume this would just reset. That's what we did. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go, it reset. And for all of you, uh, you could also do slash MRL set TP and then wood. So when now I just stand inside slash MRL reset wood. So when wood resets, I get teleported here. So and also you can make mines of every single type. You can, for example, have uh, slash MRL create, for example, st for example stone iron diamond everything you would want um and so we can also start with some ranks slash lp group because everyone who has look firms would always have a default group and you can do meta set prefix and then two of these in, in the middle you would let's say we want to have uh, it a little bit gray so and then a little aquatic member uh, just like this and then we have uh, let's say the name want to be in, um, in a good looking red style so then I can type hi because I have member rank let's say we don't want it to look like that so let's say we don't want these we can just remove this and then we can just type hi and let's say we want to slash lp uh i would not show the editor right now but that's also a simple thing you can do create group let's say we want to create owner so slash lp group owner permission or we don't have to do permission now, but we can do meta set prefix. I would I I'm gonna go into permissions too, for all of you guys who's raging home there. So let's say we wanna have the owner like this slash lp and then user tiki parent set owner. Hello, I am owner. How are you? How are yo? You see? that's a simple way to do it also the spawn you can just do slash set spawn and then everyone can do it like this but it says it says for default but nobody has permission to it so slash lp group and then default permission set and then essentials dot spawn and then just like this you just click enter then if i d off myself i can do slash spawn of course not because i haven't 
So then I'll do slash LP group owner parent set default. So owner has the same permissions now as default. And I can do slash dioptiqui. Now I can do slash spawn. I get sent to this spot right here. And I can jump down. I can go over here, mine some wood, and then, oh, I gotta go to spawn. And then you get to spawn. You see? Also, when you set spawn, uh, slash octiqui, slash set spawn. You would have to look the direction people want. So if I like look in this direction, I'll do slash spawn. I'll always look that way. Um, I think I should maybe include some more things. Uh, for example, to your server, let's say you want to make uh, a starter sword slash item edit rename. You can rename with whatever you want. Colors, then you would need that, and then the color you want. Uh, but I'm not going to go into colors. You can just search on color code on the internet, and you'll get up all the types of colors in Minecraft. Let's say I want to have the starter sword. Starter sword. So now it's green starter sword and item item edit hide all. That's what I usually do because it looks cool. And then item edit hide enchants after that, so you can see the enchants. Then item edit enchant sharpness. Let's say we want enchant with sharpness eight, but that's a little bit too much to starter sword. But like that's just the simple things. And then you can. Uh, slash slash shopkeeper and then let's say I get oak log and let's say I want to have it for four oak logs just like that and then you can do with pickaxes everything every single item you would want so let's say I want to grind for this item now I'm gonna run over here I'm a new player I'm running over here I'm getting wood I'm mining this block Oh, there. I mine one block. I mine two blocks. Slash D optique. Just so we know that we can mine. Yeah. Then we can maybe make a crafting table. Then we can make an axe. So we can mine faster. Let's see, can we mine the walls? Of course not. Because we did the region thing. So we're gonna mine finish this. So, we got four logs, slash spawn. Come on, go, 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 go. Get the starter sword, let's go. And then we can just go down here, PVP, fight. Yes, of course, I'm gonna show one more thing. Because everyone dies because of that. I forgot that. So, uh, usually you could just do slash game rule, fall damage, uh, falls. Um, but if you wanna be like pr pretty professional, you know, then you gotta do like this. Jump down. Boom boom boom. Boom 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 boom. Boom 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 boom. Just like that. You also gotta do slash RG flag map PvP allow. So for, so people can PvP. And then uh, what I usually like to use as the block for right here. And then right here. Slash slash walls. Red wool red wool. And here. Boom. Boom, slash of set grass underscore block. Okay, and then place the block here. So you can mark up the spot there. And then slash top. Break this. Replace it there. Mark that the second position slash RG uh, define no fall damage. And then you slash RG flag no fall damage. Block break allow. Then you do block place place allow. Then you do PVP allow. Wait, actually block place deny. That's what I usually do there so people can't build up to spawn. Block break deny. And then, um, fall damage uh, deny so now we've made that um that's gms so now we can jump out on the outside here 
Ah, oh, we died. That's a big boy rip. So then we jump inside the circle. We don't die. Poggers, if I D off myself, Tiki, I cannot place, oh wait, I actually can. Yeah, okay. Slash op Tiki, then that's easy fix. Slash RG flag, no fall damage. Then block, place, deny. Then boom, boom, slash D up, Tiki. So now we can't break anything inside the circle. We can't place anything. And then if I build up here, full damage is on inside here. Full damage will of course be off. And kaboom. Okay, slash up Tiki. Oh wait, yeah. Now I can. So, this is just a simple tutorial. I'm not gonna like make an entire box server because that takes like an hour or something. But this is, and then you can also rename this, for example, swords. And you got the swordsmith here. Let's make him a swordsman. There we go. That's clay, but okay. That's fine. You can also make enchant the shop. You can do whatever you want with this. This is a box server. It's, you can do whatever you want. Also, I'm going to just quick go into showing a few small things that you would really want to know so i'm going to start up my main server and and just show you guys simply uh everything else so you would want to know about box servers so let's go here and then slash hub because i'm hosting on my net so i can just do this and then log on this server here we go this is my box services up yeah, here is, yeah, these are custom enchants, everything here is, uh, yeah, holograms, I can show in another video, just ask me, this is hologram text, you would also see the tab on my server is pretty sick, uh, and I will show how I did that, so, as you guys can see, here is my, um, mine hut hosting server, so, file manager. I forgot to say that you would really want to have tab and script and SKB. Playables open in. You can have that too. That will also help out. Uh, I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna go into that with this video. But tab, that allows you to do the tab to make that cool. So you put in the what the rank is called, then the prefixes here, and uh, then how the tab wants to be, how you want the tab to be. Not gonna show you that much about that too. Script. I can show simply what I would uh, use. So, scoreboard. This is kind of easy. You can just copy this. I can put it in the description. Um, but server. This is what you would want. So, uh, this is a lifestyle service. You, you any of you don't want any of this. You only want this one. This one you can just copy and make a script. Command slash clear chat. Yeah, this is just something you would really want to have. Um, you would also want to have, for example, slash rules. Then you can make this one. This one is pretty easy. I can show you how to make one later. Slash staff chats. Uh, toggle bell for staff chats. So now, like, for example... Uh, I can show the in-game version of this just simply fast so slash toggle bell slash uh, sg hi so you don't hear anything now and then uh, sg and then you or staff chats and then hi then you'll hear the playing so that's just something that's really quick coded slash discord click here slash youtube or slash yt you can click here slash welcome it's so many fun things you can do with your server the scoreboard is right there pretty simple the tab you see 
it's so many things uh if you guys want tutorial on how to script use tab and playables open env and so i will show that too first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna show a little bit more about luck perms because you guys probably didn't see that much about luck perms and you would probably want to know that so uh what you can do in in game slash lp editor or slash luck perms editor then you'll get up this then on my server i have these ranks kind of cool but for for example a plugin let's say i want to make people able to use uh for example make their own a uh, world god so it's probably something i don't want in a box server but let's say i want people to be able to go to be able to use warp so you could just type in warp and just see what you get up like okay essentials warp okay this is the this is the normal warp i use or let's say i want people to be able to enchant then okay yeah crazy enchants like you can type in that or if you know exactly which plugin it is then you can type in the plugin name so it usually is and when it's scripting i usually use server dot and then the thing and i'm not gonna go into that but for example if you want people to be able to do sh uh, afk then you can type afk and you can see okay but you would want pe then if you know then you can just do this and then kaboom and then add to the role you want so now i added that to co-owner co-owners can do that that's pretty great you can also change the prefixes here let's say this looks a little bit ugly let's just change this to big boy o so and then you just click save and then you copy this and then you got to be opt on the server and then you just type in this and boom you see that is that always helps out but guys we're gonna end the video here and uh, these i will show that the i will show one more thing And that is in my in-game here you see it says owner between my name and it says health that's essentials and tab so you got to get that too essentials and tab that's something you always would need to do i'll go through the plugins one last time if somebody didn't get them um so just simply oh my god yeah i'll just do them in game because that's way faster so right here slash pl these plugins are what you would want you can pause the video whatever you want i don't care thank you guys for watching if you want more t t tutorials type in the comment section and i will help you with whatever you want because i simply know a lot about minecraft and plugins and script and nearly everything you would want to learn I can help you guys make gen servers. I can help you make kit PvP servers, sky mining. Today was the box tutorial server. I can also help you guys set up your own minehut server, but that's already tutorials on YouTube, so I don't really think we gotta do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.